Uh, there's probably a thing right here. No, I remember why that's there. We'll see that in a mission later as well. I was looking at those little ice pallets thinking there has to be a bottle at the end of them. Why else are they there? But it's something with a mission later that we'll see. Whoa. I thought that I would uh, be able to... Oh, crap. That hurt. I thought I'd be able to uh, rail walk on these wooden boards is why I pressed circle there. I wasn't expecting to grab that, whatchamacallit. Anyways, we've already got seven, and we're about to grab an eighth right up here. So let's grab this eighth one and then go ahead and start this mission and get it done. We may get two missions done before I wrap up today. We may only get one. We'll see. Die. You're dead. Can I grab this? I can. I love the noise it makes. A little ticky noise. Dun, 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 dun. Tick, 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 tick. I really like it. Ah, stupid eagle. See, I hate the eagles. They're too prevalent here. It's good to see my cane upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. All right, so we got to go take pictures and stuff, of course. Yeah, one of the big things that, like, probably the major complaint I have is the eagles being right outside the safe house and all. I liked it better when there was one spot. It made a lot more sense there, too. There was one spot where the eagles were, and it was this really tall area, that one big mountain in the middle of episode 6. But here, they're just, like, camping at the safe house and that place we just were up on that little hill, which the hill made sense. But the fact that I walk out of the safe house and I have to worry about condors, or I see, I keep saying condors. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure they're eagles. I just like to say condors. But the fact that I have to worry about those eagles swooping down the second I'm out of the safe house is a little irritating to me. It's not a big deal, though. Let's take a picture of this. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. How do you tell from that picture if those are old or not? I guess if I guess like in their world, like from the perspective of sign them, it's probably a lot better than, you know, these PS2 graphic resolutions. They probably look at it and it's like, oh it's rusty, and you can tell that it's not shiny new metal. But, you know, for us looking at it, it just looks like normal metal. At least to me, it looked like it was just normal metal. I didn't see anything about those saw blades that make them look really old. Whatever. Let's just keep moving. Grab some bottles on our way. Gotta take a picture of that bear. Gotta grab this bottle and that bottle up there. And I think there's a bottle, yep, a bottle in the middle to attract the bear. They tempt you with the bottle, and I'm gonna take that temptation because I'm greedy. This place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. Bears got radio now. I remember where one of the shiny, where one of the uh, treasures is. There's a treasure up next to Jean Bisson's house, which is right there. We're gonna take a picture of it here in a second. And then there's the one at the top of the lighthouse. I know there's one at the top of that lighthouse. I'm like a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Always leave room for error. Ninety-eight percent sure. No, no, 99. 99% sure there's one at the top of the lighthouse. Like, really, really sure. I don't know where the third one is, though. We're gonna have to go hunting for the third one. Pretty sure there's gonna be one right here. Yeah, there is. I knew it. We'll grab it soon. John B. Sod's house. The lair of the beast. The dead of evil. The epicenter of ecological destruction. Yeah, screw nature, says John B. Sod. Got it. How am I standing on this so perfectly when it, like, tilts? Oh, it does move me. It just does it really slowly. I thought it wouldn't tilt me faster than that. Whatever. We'll uh, come back and grab that item probably before we finish this session, we, this part. Got, like, ten minutes left, roughly. Here, a bottle. I'm also trying to keep my eye out for that third shiny object, because I have I don't even have the smallest idea of where to even start looking for it. Love these little hooks. So useful. Hey, I want your shiny object. That cool? We cool? Good. Probably gonna murder you after this, but that's fine, right? Yeah, we're at the point now that we have the hover pack where it's actually, in some cases, it's better to have Bentley. Because he doesn't have to have a certain object to get up high like Sly does. He can just, uh... What am I trying to think? What am I... What's word do I want to say? He can just, uh, hover pack up really easily. Basically fly. Make it! Like a boss. Now that I'm up here, I can paraglide over here. But if I'd had Bentley, I could've just hover packed up there. Just saying. Sly should invest in a hover pack. Gotta take a picture of this boat, apparently. Didn't even know that, but let's do it. Fascinating. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. 
Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. We get to hack stuff. This computer is always used for hacking. We get to hack stuff. And uh, also, we're going to the lighthouse right now. I forgot. I knew we had a mission for the lighthouse. I didn't realize it was so early. But yay, we get to hack stuff in episode 7. I thought we wouldn't get to hack again until episode 8. I'm pleasantly surprised. I forgot that John that we had to do that for the uh, boats. Awesome. I love hacking in this game. Pretty sure I mentioned that. I'm positive I've mentioned that by now, but hacking is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Break for no reason. Give me this bottle. Oh, you can break it again. Didn't even know that. Does this like go into the water? Slightly, but it comes back up. I was afraid it would go all the way down. Along we go, because I am Sly Koopa. What is this right here? Can I get around this way instead of the other way I'm thinking of? There's another way over there. We'll do it later. Go, Sly, go! Go, Sly, go! Is this a boat? What is this? Like, a barrel? A boat? I don't know what that is. Whatever. It's a good thing these logs float perfectly for us. I was thinking of this path. Is there a, uh... Make sure there's no bottles on that path that doesn't look like there is. Good. Let's try the front door. That door seems to be locked from the inside. Try to find another way in. Time to scale the lighthouse. Up, up, and away. I love these little mini canes. So awesome. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, go up. I didn't realize I could start going up now. Let this one fall. Go, go, go. Oh, that was close. I can't see where they're coming from. Uh, look at this sheet of ice. It's like off that. Whoops. It's like off of it. The ice is hanging off of it. It's not connected like the rest of the ice. I knew it. I told you. 99%. So we got this gold chalice to get. I also think that there is a bottle up here, if memory serves. Sure is. From the highest point. Let me just nab that. Awesome. Can look over the entire area from here. Ah, if only I had the ability to see all the bottles from up here. That would be nice. Anyways. We're already at 19. Making really good progress. It shouldn't be too hard to get the other 11. Can I go in here or what? Bentley, what's the deal? I'm like here. Do I have to go back down here for some reason? I thought he told me to go up. Oh, I thought I had to climb to the top to get in. Whoops, my bad. I just climbed up there for no apparent reason. Whatever, at least we confirmed the chalice is up there. Okay, let's just start taking pictures, I guess. I thought I thought John Besson or Sly or Bentley would have started talking, so I was being quiet, but I guess not. That's the battery charger, but where is the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? Not sure. Gotta get that spinning thing. Ah, so close. Zoom in a bit more. Zoom in a bit more. Dang it. Wait a minute. Let me try and do it like this. I don't remember the strategy I had for this before. Got it. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. I usually don't get dizzy from seeing things spin around. I guess it's just me. It's held by a by a wait, it's got a maple leaf on it and everything. It's held by a Canadian brand chair. Not bad. No way we're getting through that. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Be a chair. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Why? I don't want him on my binocucom. He's ugly. Look at him. Oh, he's got the talons on him. I forgot about that. I haven't played Sly 2 in quite a while. Played it when it came out. Sped through it a little bit. I sped through all the Sly games when they came out before. Because I just wanted to play through them all again before Sly 4 came out. So I just kind of sped through them without paying too much attention. Plus, my memory is awful. Anyways. Oh, Sly. Listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We 
We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Time to chat about the lumberjack games. Time to become true lumberjacks. Let's do it. Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. All right, I've got about two minutes left, so let's go see if we can snag a shiny object real quick. One of the treasures. Uh, let's go get the one at Jean Bassan's house. And then next time, we'll get the one on top of the, uh, the, uh, lighthouse. Ten more bottles to go. Not bad. Next time, we'll get the one on top of the lighthouse, and then we'll try and find the third one as well, while we get the last of the bottles and just, in general, win this, uh, episode. Defeat this episode. Don't mind me, there's a bear chasing me. Thank you, bear! Ah, uh, uh, this was a horrible idea. I should have just ended the episode or part or whatever. Thank you, Bear, for being such a good friend. That bear is more helpful than most of my crew. Seriously. Not really, but still. I like to give credit to the bear, because bears are awesome. Love bears. When they're not trying to maul me to death, I mean. Bum, 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 bum. I hear a bottle. Just don't know. Right here. Sweet. We're at 22. I'm gonna nab this real quick, and I'm on my way. See you guys later. Peace out. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was a horrible idea. That was an awful idea. Why did I ever do that? Ow. You're dead. You drop health. Get out of here, ducks. Get out of here. Would you please leave me alone so I can get the shiny object and end my episode? Like, seriously? Are you kidding me? Like, everyone and their mother is coming here? Die. For real. Way too many ducks and, like, moose or whatever those are. I don't know. I didn't get a close enough look at them. I hear a bottle. I did not mean to do this, but whatever. Now I don't hear the bottle. We'll get it later. I think it's actually on top of his house, and you can't get there without uh, some serious wall jumping maneuvers that we're gonna do later. Thank goodness I was able to spire jump on these. I just assumed I could, because they were there. They looked like something that you could spire jump. Anyways, let's run back to the uh, safe house real quick. We're gonna call it a day. When we come back next time, we will try and get the last seven bottles, because I'm about to get the uh, 23rd right here. Which means instead of needing eight, we now need seven. So we're gonna try and get the last seven bottles next time. We're gonna get the uh, shiny object on top of the lighthouse, try and find the last shiny object, and just continue finishing missions to try and get through episode seven. Hopefully we can actually finish episode seven next time, because then I'll definitely be able to finish episode eight in two sessions. I'm positive. It will not take me three sessions to finish episode eight on its own. If I got a roar and the reduction bomb, we're already done buying all the objects. That's always a good sign. That way we'll have plenty of cash for when we get to episode 8, hopefully, so that we can buy it. Because we still have two shiny treasures worth of cash coming in, and then just any shiny objects I see. But that's going to be all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, next time we're just going to focus on jobs and keep an eye out for the shiny objects. Get the one on top of the lighthouse and keep an eye out for bottles, basically. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Yeah, that's next time. I'll see you then, hopefully. Farewell.